Hi there, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got something I've been wanting to do for a while, and that is a product smackdown. Uh, there's probably other creators that call it that but that's the most creative name I could think of right now. I have been looking for something to replace my very well-loved Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I've been using this since the beginning of the year. I absolutely love this product. It is a ride or die, but it is not available anywhere at the moment. Apparently, there is a worldwide glass shortage, which is really bad because this is the kind of glass they use in medications and things as my googling tells me so obviously that not great um so makeup in the scheme of things very minor problem but i still want to replace this product and i've not been able to i use this every single day uh either by itself with a bit of concealer or underneath makeup it just gives a beautiful glowy fabulous look on the skin and it's so easy to use by itself. So I've been looking for something to replace it. Now, every single dupe I've been able to find is not available in Australia, which is so incredibly frustrating. So the e.l.f., uh, I don't know what it's called. One of these is considered a dupe, but not available in Australia. So when I heard on my favorite po podcast, I'm gonna link it down below. It's the You Beauty podcast uh, from Mamma Mia, and I buy so much stuff that they recommend. And Kelly on that podcast actually recommended the Huda Beauty Glow Wish, or what's it called? multi Dew Skin Tint as a dupe. Dupe? Dupe? Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> so I got my hands on this. It is available at Adore Beauty. It's also available at Sephora. We do have a Sephora here. I'm in Perth, but it is far away from my house. So I got it on a door and it's actually $2 cheaper. So this one is actually 40 mils and the Charlotte Tilbury, which lose, lost a lot of its labeling, um, is actually 30 mils, 65. This was 56. Uh, so I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison and see what they're like. I will say about the Charlotte Tilbury one, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to scrape. Very, it's very well loved this one. So obviously the applicator is this doe foot wand. Now it looks really yellow on camera. It's not really that yellow in real life. Obviously this is just my lighting. Um, and every time I do apply it, I always think I'm putting all these oils and stuff from my face back into the bottle and I know we've always been taught not to do that. But obviously I don't think it's a big enough problem to actually put it on my hand and then apply it. So, <laughs> In the interest of science, I've got two real techniques uh, sponges. I just put it kind of all over and I don't put any on my forehead. I just use what's left over on the sponge. Just apply. I have got a ring light on. So you'll be able to see it in that lighting, but I'm also in front of a window. So what I'll do is once they're both on, I'll turn my ring light off and you guys will be able to see what it looks like. So that's that side. Very glowy, beautiful. And then on days where I can't be bothered, I literally just put a tiny bit of concealer like under my eyes or around my nose. Now for the Huda Beauty. I've not actually used any of Huda's products before, so I'm really excited. It comes like this in a tube, so no glass. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's probably not great for the environment, huh? Um, and, oh, shades. <laughs> the worst beauty YouTuber ever. Uh, the Charlotte Tilbury shade I'm in is 2.5 Fair, and the Glowish shade I'm in is number one Fair. Now, I used the Adore Beauty shade selector to select this, and I also, oh, that's way too much. Oh, Rianne, okay, half a pump. Probably not even that. Um, oh God, way, 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 way too much. And I don't think, uh, I'm gonna try and scrape it back into the bottle because I don't like wasting. Um, so I'm just kind of dotting it around the face. It's very hard to use this for the first time on camera. Didn't think that one through, did I? 
So you could probably apply it with your fingers. Oh my gosh, I've used like the tiniest amount. So please, if you do get this, just squeeze a tiny, tiny bit on. Don't do what I do. All right. Shade wise, I don't have any self tanner or color on my face at the moment. So I think the Charlotte Tilbury one probably is slightly more golden. But shade-wise, they're pretty similar. You can probably hear my children yelling in the background. The Huda Beauty one is a slightly thicker consistency, probably more of a foundation consistency, uh, but only very slightly. I, I mean, there's not much of a difference in terms of how they look on my skin. This one's probably a little fairer and I could have gone a shade up, but what I like to do with my foundation is match my natural skin tone and then I will use uh, concealers and bronzers and all of that to kind of warm it up if I have a tan on my body. I think that's just the most natural way of doing it and it means that I'm not having to change foundations between seasons. I... I think that's a pretty good dupe. So if you like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and you've not been able to get it, that's a dropper box, definitely give the Glow Witch a try. If you can get into Sephora, you might be able to get a sample. I don't, because I don't shop at Sephora a lot, I'm assuming, I'm assuming they do samples like Mecca do, but if you're not sure, just grab a sample. Otherwise, the Door Beauty is actually $2 cheaper and their shipping was very, very quick. I got it within two days. So I am very excited and <laughs> I used the tiniest amount. Is it a cheaper dupe? Not really because this is still, it's $10, it's $10 cheaper and 10 mils more. So yeah, it is cheaper, but I will continue um, if we get the e.l.f. Uh, one that everyone's talking about over a seas, I will try the elf one as well because I'm interested to see what it's like. But at least I have, I was really scared about this running out, uh, which sounds ridiculous, it's makeup, but I love this product so much that I'm so glad I found something that that's pretty similar. Now, when this comes back, will I rebuy it? Let's see how this goes. Anyway. Uh, I will go and do the rest of my makeup. I'm going to leave it half and half. Um, I'll go do the rest of my makeup and come back and you'll see. Oh, I said I was going to show you in natural light. So let me turn my light off. The lighting is probably going to look a bit weird and I'll be back in natural light. So this is it in natural light. Oh, I should have filmed my whole video like this. This looks good. I forget how good the natural light from my window is. I can't really tell the difference. Pretty good. Final look, nothing too crazy. I have actually been out and about since I was last on camera. So both products holding up fairly well. I think I'm gonna love the Huda Beauty, Beauty one, the Glow Wish as a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. So if you have been looking for something to replace the Hollywood Flawless Filter, definitely try it out until you can get your hands on it again. Maybe you'll find you prefer it. I don't know. We'll see how we go. But as first impressions, I'm pretty happy. Uh, so this is with the ring light. And this is natural light. As always, thank you so much for watching my video. If there is anything you would like me to review or do a product dupe for or any tips and tricks you want to see, please let me know and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything. I also upload a lot to shorts, so I don't want you to miss out on any content. All my links are below for everything I've used and I will see you next time.